Hi, I'm going to tell you what's being done to get me out of prison. But first, I'll get you up to speed on my case so far. I spent six years in county jail waiting for trial. During that time, I learned law and attempted to file motions to represent myself. But I was forced to go to trial with a lawyer who worked against me. I filed my own briefs on appeal, which I wrote myself. And now I'm in federal court petitioning for a writ of habeas corpus. The Federal Writ of Habeas Corpus is an order by a federal court to release a prisoner, which is made because a state government is holding him in violation of the American Constitution. Habeas Corpus is meant to protect our constitutional rights from unlawful state government actions. Ever since Bill Clinton passed the Anti-Terrorism and Effective Death Penalty Act in 1996, habeas has become extremely hard to get, unless the AEDPA doesn't apply to your case. Luckily for me, the AEDPA doesn't apply in my case. In order for it to apply, the state court must adjudicate the merits of my constitutional claims. This means they must apply the law to the facts of my case. If the state court tries to rely on state law technicalities, it removes the barriers of AEDPA. In my case, the New Jersey Appellate Court relied on procedural missteps, whatever that means, which removes AEDPA's barriers. My constitutional claims are my Sixth Amendment right to represent myself and my Fifth Amendment right to due process, which means the trial procedure was unconstitutional because the prosecutor destroyed key evidence. Three months before trial, I tried to fire my useless lawyer and file my own motions to remedy the destruction of evidence, but the trial court forced me to go to trial with that same useless lawyer. The destroyed evidence includes surveillance video showing prosecution witnesses' testimony to be false, drug containers and drinking glasses from the kitchen that were never analyzed for rape drugs, and the car that the rape happened on. My argument on habeas corpus is that I could not possibly get a fair trial without this evidence, and the trial court violated my right to file my own motion to remedy the destruction of this evidence. In addition to my habeas petition, I've also filed motions in federal court for an evidentiary hearing about the destroyed evidence, as well as for financial assistance to hire a crime scene and a drug analysis expert to testify at that hearing. You can keep track of my current progress on PACER using the information from the description, and I'll update you every time I file something. My habeas petition will take one to three years to get through the district court to the Third Circuit of Appeals. But this is how Reuben Hurricane Carter got out. He had to make the corrupt state courts accountable to the federal courts to win his freedom. And so do I. If you want to help me in this, there's no guarantee that the court will pay for a crime scene expert. So please donate to my Go Get Funding so I can hire the expert myself and pay for legal costs.